liking back? It's cool, man. Um, you know, growing up here, obviously, watched a lot of the Packers. Um, been to practices and games as a kid, so it's uh, kind of cool reminiscing and then uh, obviously being on the field. So, uh, yeah. yeah. What do you remember from that game and what's it going to be like if you do play on Friday with the back home? You know, that LSU game was obviously another huge special moment in my life. Um, that was my first start at Wisconsin. Had a bunch of family and friends at the game. Um, so first start at Wisconsin on Lambeau Field, it was a pretty big deal for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, a lot of good memories from that. And then, um, you know, if I play, <clears throat> I played here um, my rookie year with the Saints too. So um, been through it, but um, you know, it's always a special place to come to just because of my upbringing. So. You know, I never brought my bike, but I was definitely at some of these open practices as a kid. So, um, yeah, definitely memories from that. <laughs> um, you know, it's nice to go against um, someone other than ourselves. Um, I think it's a good test for us, and I think we played, um, you know, for the most part, really good today. I think we, you know, we played physical. We played a good game out there, or a good practice out there. Um, obviously, there's going to be stuff to correct on the film, but I think uh, the first first day went well for us. I haven't heard anything. Um, you know, my mindset is I'm going to be playing. So, um, but yeah, that's that's all I know, which which is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think they're trying to be trying to be smart. I'm trying to be smart, um, and you know, going into the season feeling as as good as I can possibly feel. Um, and I think so far I've done a good job of maintaining it and managing it. And um, you know, up to this point, it's been feeling my knees have been feeling really good. So. Right, right. It's 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 a it's kind of a tough game because like. You know, as a professional athlete, you want to get these reps. You want to get better. You're, you're always trying to work on something. So <clears throat> when you're not getting them, you know, you have to get them mentally. And um, it's, it's a tough balance not being able to take all the reps um, and then, you know, being smart on the other end and taking care of your body and make sure you're learning from the stuff you are watching. So. Yeah, I think Landon's done um, a good job, and we communicate a lot. Um, you know, we sit next together, next to each other, in our uh, meeting rooms. So we we kind of bounce stuff off each other all the time. And I think he's made a lot of um, good steps in his game. And um, you know, I think he's becoming a, a pretty good player. Would you say that the load management stuff is working? Like, do you feel pretty good right now? Yeah, I think um, I think I, I definitely feel good. Um, you know, I've never really been through this process before. It was always just like, I'm going, you know. So it's a little bit different for me, but, um, you know, so far I think it's been good. Was this like a, just out of curiosity, was this like Matt Ray kind of in this? Or was this kind of more of like collaborative? Yeah, I don't know, um, you know, exactly how they came up with it. Um, but we have a couple, couple different things that I'm doing in the weight room. And, um, you know, we have certain certain machines that we're using that I think are, are beneficial to kind of take some of that strain and all the load off that you would get in a practice and kind of convert it um, into strength training, really. Say that again, I'm sorry. Do you like the fact that in Wisconsin, you're requesting the Yeah. Um, you know, it's cool. I think, um, you know, like uh, Madison, Wisconsin, obviously they have a, a strong tr tradition of offensive linemen. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's cool uh, that they uh, look out for us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I'd be lying if I said no. Um, 
I definitely, you know, on the on the bus ride over, it had some memories about man. It was, <laughs> you know, it wasn't long ago that I was out here watching their their practices, and then thinking about you know getting back into football at D three, and and then transferring to Madison, and then um, you know getting drafted, and um, so there's, you know, I think about that stuff um, quite a bit when I'm back here. So um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool, pretty special. Um, I, I honestly haven't seen a ton from him, obviously. Um, we don't have a ton of reps against each other, but, um, you know, just in talking to him, um, you know, I think he's a confident player and he's, you know, he's good at what he does. So, uh, you know, I know he's preparing for another good year and I think he'll have another good year. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe I get out there on a bike. I don't want to pull a JJ Watt and break anyone's bike, but. Um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, I talked to my parents after the practice uh, for a little bit, and then I think we might have a couple hours tonight where I could hang out, maybe get dinner or something. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was. I was probably. 10, 11, 12, 13, somewhere in there. Um, but uh, my dad was a huge Packer fan. I was a big Packer fan. So we'd, we'd load up the car, come over, hang out, try to get some autographs, watch practice. And, um, you know, I just remember thinking, man, what would, it like, what would it be like to be on that field and be a player? And, you know, it was always kind of an inspiration and, and goal of mine to get to the NFL. And so, yeah. Favorite players, um, obviously Brett Favre was a, a big one for me. Um, you know, Amon Green, I watched a lot of him. Um, gosh, I don't know. I, there was there was a lot. Donald Driver, um, Charles Woodson, a handful of guys. Um, I had a Rogers jerseys. I had an Amon Green jersey. Uh, um, I think yeah, I think that was it. That's cool. Um, you know, obviously, <clears throat> been in this league for six years now, so um, you know it's not not quite the same as being a kid. Obviously, you know this is my job, and you know, obviously take it very seriously. But it's cool. You know, like I said, I grew up around. I grew up watching it, and um, so, you know it's a cool thing to to share the field. Yeah. Did you stay in Stevens Point? Probably did you decide to go back and play football? Yeah, I wouldn't see why not. I wouldn't see why not. Um, <clears throat> you know, I go back there in the off season. Um, my family's back there. My wife's family's back there. So we spend a lot of time with our families. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't wouldn't have seen me moving. What's your opinion on Sure, I've had a lot of those in my lifetime. <laughs> um, Love them. I mean, there's nothing better than fresh deep fried cheese curds. Yeah. Yeah, that's sad. That makes me sad. Um, hopefully, you'll get out and try some here. I'm sure there's tons of good spots to get them. Oh, deep fried for sure, but fresh are great. Uh, I'll eat them both. No problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You guys good? Yeah, All right, thanks, thanks guys.